Good morning, Michelle here. I have a new workout. Uh, this one is a little bit longer. This one is uh, actually Olivia asked for it uh, over Christmas, but I was so busy, I didn't have time. So I came up with 10 exercises. They're sort of combination moves. We're gonna do a minute and 30 seconds for each round with a 15 second break, okay? So each exercise is gonna be a minute and 30. And they're, it's not just like jump lunges or squats. We are doing, it's a combo move for each one of them. I have my sandbag, you can use your dumbbell, you can use a kettlebell. I sort of brought everything out so that I could show you um, the exercise if you did it with, if you didn't have the sandbag and you had a dumbbell or, or a ball or whatever you have, it doesn't matter, you can use it, um, all of the exercises can be done with it. Your timer is gonna look like this. Alrighty. And I will have the full breakdown on my uh, blog, mycrazyworkout.com. And you can follow along with the uh, workout with me or you can save it and do it later. So we are gonna get started. I will cue you along the way because we are gonna have 15 seconds in between doesn't sound like a lot, I know. I could make it 30, but then I feel like you're too rested. So, the first one I'm gonna use my sandbag for, I'm gonna leave this on the ground. And we are gonna do six mountain climbers, and then you're gonna do a V-hop right, then a V-hop left. Then you're gonna hold for a push-up, and then you're gonna come up and do a clean and press. So, that will be one round, one, one time through, one set. So, I am gonna do my sandbag. If you have a kettlebell, it will work. If you have a ball, it will work. You just put it in place of the sandbag is all you do. So your hands would be straddling. Mine are gonna be on top of the sandbag because it's wider, but you can straddle your hands. If you have um, if you have dumbbells, they can be on the dumbbells, which is awesome for the push-up because you can go even deeper. So let me hit the timer. We have 15 seconds. Remember, go at your own pace. Work at your fitness level, and when you, if you need to take a break, take a break. This is all new for me, so we're doing it together. Six mountain climbers, one, two, three, four, five, six. Knee hop, V hop, hold, push up, hop in, clean, and press it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop, V hop, hold, push up, clean and press. One, two, three, four, five, six. Push up, clean and press. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Knee hop. Push up. Clean and press. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hop, V hop. Clean and press. Woo. Okay, next one, we're gonna kneel down. Sandbags at the right. Flip it to your opposite shoulder and squat out. Down, stay here, flip it up, squat out low, back in, down. Left, right, stay here, over to the right, squat out, back in, down. Right, left, right, left, stay here, over to the left, squat out, Drop it to your left. Then it's left, right, left, right. Over to the right. Squat out. Drop it down. Right, left, right, 
Left, stay low. Squat it out. Whew. Back in. Left, right, left, right. Squat out. You're squatting low and in. Should be breathing hard too. Squat out and back in. Left, right, left, right. Over to the right. Squat out. Your thighs should be on fire. Oh, okay. Alternate side lunge, weight at the foot. You're gonna clean to the chest, you're gonna hold, and you're gonna squat, squat and press, okay? So, side lunge, clean it up, squat and press. Side lunge, clean it up, squat and press. Side lunge. First lunge. 
Squat down, upright brow. Clean it, press it overhead, and a left lunge. Ooh. Upright row, clean and press, press it overhead, and a reverse lunge. Ooh. Left, upright row, clean and press, overhead, left side. Abs are tight, engage that core. Shoulders, you should be feeling it. Ooh. Hold it and a reverse lunge. Upright row. Left or right, my bad. Up and a reverse lunge. Two jump squats with side leg lifts. You're gonna hop into a plank, and you're gonna do two traveling push-ups. Okay, you ready? Oh, I'm sweating. One, two, hop into a plank, travel to the right, push-up, push-up, hop in, squat, leg lift, squat, Leg lift, hop into a plank, travel, oh. hop in, squat, leg lift, oh. hop into a plank, travel, oh. you want a neutral spine for your push-ups, hop up, leg lift, hop up, Hop in. If you need to go down to your knees, down, down, hop in, squat jump, leg lift, leg lift, traveling push-ups, one, back is flat, core is tight, hop up, leg lift, hop up. Leg lift, hop into your plank. Down. Oh. Hop in. Oh. Oh. Okay, weighted roll up. Did I not bring my towel out? Crud. Oh. I left it in there. Okay, weighted roll up to the right side. You're gonna lower that weight to the right side. You're gonna roll up, tap to the right. Roll over, you're gonna do a hip dip and a kick out. Roll back, grab that ball, roll up. Tap it, roll over, thank you. Kick it, my wonderful husband brought my towel out, I think. No, wrong towel, okay. Roll up, come and messing up. Too many distractions. Down, kick front, roll it back, grab your ball, and roll down. Roll up. Hip dip, kick front, roll it back, grab that weight, and roll down. Roll it up. You can do this with a kettlebell, a ball, a plate, a dumbbell, or a dumbbell, it doesn't matter. Whatever you have that's weighted for those roll ups, roll up. Hip dip and a kick. Engage that core. Roll back. Roll up. Tap it to the side. Hit that right oblique. And down. Hip dip and a roll up. Okay. We got it on the left side now. I'm gonna try it with the sandbag and show you. I don't know how heavy this is gonna be. I might not get it up there. You're gonna roll it up. Roll it up. It's gonna to go to the right. You're gonna roll over and you're gonna do a hip dip and a kick front and you're gonna roll back. Pick it up, work the oblique. Roll it over, work the abdominal. Tap 
it, roll it, hip dip, and a kick. Roll it back. We are not doing these fast. It is not fast. You are engaging the core. Roll it up, tap it, roll over, hip dip, kick front, and back down. Roll it over. Drop it. Hip dip, kick front. Roll it over. Tap it. Roll back. And back down. Roll up. Engage that core when you roll up. Okay? Don't pull with the head and the neck. If you need to do a roll up without any weight, do it without any weight. And touch that hand to the left side. Down and kick front. Woo! Okay. Now we have squat. You're going to toss the ball. You're going to do a low squat and catch it. And then we're going to do a front tap right and a front tap left. So you squat, toss it up, and you're going to tap out, tap out. You're going to hold, hop into a plank right and left. Let's repeat it right here. Toss it up and catch it. You're going to go right and up, left and up, holding the plank. Knee drive right and left. Engage that core. Squat, toss it up, hold it. Tap right, up, left, up. Plank it, knee drive. Squat it, toss that ball, catch it. Right and up, left and up. Plank it, right and left. Hop in, squat and toss it. Catch it, right, up, left, up, plank, knee drive. Core is tight. Press out of the shoulders in that plank. Right, lift, left, lift, and engage that core. Hold that stomach in. Right, lift, left, Lift. Okay, one more, round number 10. V up, hovering. Reach between the legs, and then you're gonna V up, and you're gonna hold, and you're gonna do a Russian twist right with an overhead lift and a Russian twist, twist left. Okay, so you're gonna hover. V up, regular V up, and then you're gonna roll it up. You're gonna twist right and left. You're gonna roll down and you're gonna start again. V up, roll up, right, overhead, left, overhead, and you're gonna roll down. V up, hover. First time the legs are apart, second time the legs are straight up. Roll down, repeat, V up, sorry about that. Roll up, Russian twist, Russian twist, roll down, hover, V up, roll up. Roll up. Russian twist. When you do your Russian twist, make sure that you're twisting the body to the right and then to the left. Twist it and twist it. Woo! Ready for a second round? If you want to do the second round, you can follow along with me. Otherwise, you can fast forward it to the bonus 
I'm using the stability ball for most of the exercises, and we're gonna do some glutes and core. But if you're coming along with me, grab a drink. I'm gonna roll this up, grab your drink. I have the bar for one of the moves on the stability ball. But if you have a bar and you don't have a bag and you don't have dumbbells, you can use the bar and do the clean and presses. If you don't want weights on there, you can just use the bar. My bar, my easy curl bar is 25 pounds and then there's five pounds on each side. So it's a 35 pound bar. I'm planning on using it for the chest presses with the pullovers for the back. Uh, let's get started. We're not taking too long of a break. We're starting with those mountain climbers to the B-hop, to the push-up, to the clean and press. Oh, I can see my breath. My body must be hot and the air is cold. We're going to hop in for a mountain climber. It's six. It's, it's literally three for each leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. B-hop, B-hop. Hold it. Push-up. And then a clean and a press. Okay, back down. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop, V hop. Push up and a clean and a press. Back down. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop, V hop. Push up and a clean and a press. Oh. Six mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop, V hop. Push up, clean and a press. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop, V hop. Push up, clean and press. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop right, V hop left. And clean in the press. Woo! Okay. Kneeling, sandbag. Remember this one? Shoulders feeling it? You should be. Quads, right, left, right. Flip it up and we're squatting out left low. Down to the left side. Left, right, left, right. Flip it up, squat out. Ooh. Right, left, right. Flip it up. And squat out left, back down to the left side. Left, right, left, flip it up. Got my hands stuck. <laughs> squat out, back down. Right, left, flip it up, squat out, and back down. Left, right, left. And you're gonna flip it to the right. Squat out. Oh. And down. Right, left, right. Flip it. Squat out. Down to the left. Squat out right. Squat them as low as you can. Okay? Press that butt back. Put the weight in the heels. Oh. oh, wow, I can feel them in my quads, in my glutes. Alternate side lunge, weight to the foot. Okay, if you have a ball or a dumbbell, you'd hold the dumbbell at the ends. The ball, right, come up, squat, hold up, and a reverse lunge, right? Am I doing the right thing? No, I'm not. Clean and press, hold, squat and press. Lunge out, my bad. Squat, press, down, clean it, 
up, squat and press, down, clean it, squat, up and press, down, up, squat, press, down, up, you get the hang of it, right? I can go back to the sandbag, down, clean it, squat, and press, side lunge, clean, squat, and press, side lunge, clean it, squat it, and press it, down, clean it up, and press it up, down, clean it, squat, and press, down, clean up, squat, and press, side lunge, clean, squat, and press, okay, we are doing a squat with an upright row, this is where the reverse lunge comes in, upright row, then we're going to clean and press overhead and hold for a reverse lunge with the same side, upright row, Lift it up and a reverse lunge. Back down, left side, upright row. Clean it, press it overhead, and a left reverse lunge. Right, upright row. Left, upright row. Clean and press, hold it. And a left lunge. Right, upright row. Clean it up. And a right reverse lunge. Left, upright row. Clean and press. Press it up. Upright row. Clean and press. Reverse lunge, left, that right row. Feeling it in your shoulders? I am. That right row. Left, or right reverse lunge, left side. That right row. Woo! Okay. Two jump squats with a leg lift. Hop into a plank and two traveling push-ups. I'll move this so you can see. Squat, leg lift, squat, leg lift. Hop into a plank. Right out, you're traveling to the right. Hop in. Squat, leg lift, Squat, side leg lift, plank. Hop in. Squat, leg lift, squat, leg lift, hop into a plank. into a plank, travel that push-up, hop back in, hop squat, jump squat, jump squat, hop into a plank, jump squat, leg lift, Leg lift, plank, walk out, hop in, Whew. I was going to launch there, okay, weighted roll up, I'll do it from this side so you can see, Paul is going to go to the right side, so you're going to roll up, tap, Roll over, 
You're gonna do a hip dip and a side kick. And you're gonna roll back. I want my bag because that was pretty good with the bag. Didn't feel too bad. Roll over, hip dip, and kick out. Roll back. Grab your bag. Grab your weight. Don't use weight at all if you don't want to. Work at your level. Oh. Hip dip and a toe tap. Oh. Whew. Grab that weight. Roll down. Oh. Roll up, engage that core. Oh. Oh. Hip dip and tap. Roll back. Oh. Grab that weight. Raise it overhead. Oh. Oh. Tap it. Roll it. Hip dip and kick. If you don't want to do the kick, that's a lot of balance. You can do a knee. I'll show you. Hip dip and you do a knee in. Okay? Reach it. Roll it down. Roll up and tap. Hip dip and a kick. Okay, now we have that left side. So I'll come this way. How you feeling? Think you can do another round? Just one more round for the crazies. Left, roll it over, hip dip, and back. Pick it up. Roll it down. Oh. Yep, yep. Drop it. And a plank. Kick. Grab that weight. Roll it down. Oh. Engage the core to roll up. Hip dip. And a kick. Roll down. Grab that weight. See those twists you get in there? You'll work the obliques with these twists. We're not going fast. We want to control this movement and really engage the core. Down and kick. Roll back over. Grab that weight. catch it in the low squat, you're going to hold overhead, or you're going to hold it in the squat position. So squat, toss, catch it, tap right and up, left and up, pop into that plank and a knee drive, right and left, engage that core, catch it, squat right, squat left, down, knee drive. Knee drive. Oh. Squat. Catch it down. Right. Tap. Left. Tap. Plank knee drive. Oh. Squat down. Oh. Plank knee drive. Right. And a left. Hop in. Squat. Toss it up, right side, up, left side, up. Plank, knee drive right, knee drive left. Squat and toss, catch it, right, lift, and lift. Squat, toss it up, catch it low, right, and a left. Woo. One more. V ups. Hovering V up. I think 
think I'll use the dumbbell for this one. The ball doesn't seem heavy enough. Oh, as I drop it on me. Knee up, hover, roll up. You tap, lift it overhead, tap, lift it overhead, and you roll back down. Hover, wide legs, knee up, oh. roll up, right, overhead, left, overhead, and you roll back down. Hold that weight up. Now over the head, reach between the legs, and then a V up, roll up. Now, if you're a beginner and you can't lift your legs off the floor at the same time, that's okay. Go right and then go left. And then you roll up and you do a right overhead and a left overhead. And you're right where we are because we're doing two V ups. So it's a right and a left. And then you roll up and you tap right and you tap left and you roll back down. You pick your level. Roll up. Engage the core. Roll down. Roll up. Crunch right, Russian twist, and left. What did I miss? I missed something. Oh, I forgot the front lunges. My bad. Okay. Front lunge over two pulses, three pulses, back. Sorry about that. Lunge over, raise it up, hold pulse. One, two, three, and back. Lunge it over, lift it up. Hold it, pulse. One, two, three, and back. Lunge, lift it over, hold. Three static pulses. I'm not editing this, sorry. We all make mistakes. One, two, three, and step back. Lunge it, lift it over. One, two, three, and back. Lunge out, lift it, one, two, three, and step back. Lunge out, lift it over, one, two, three, and back. Woo! Lift it over, one, two, three, and back. Lunge out, lift it, I'll fix it on the third round. I'll make it right. Oh, are your legs on fire? They should be. One, two, three. Whoa. Wow. Sorry about that. What do you expect for free, right? God, you can't get good help, can you? All right. We're going to do one more round. If you're advanced and you want to do one more round with me, you can do one more round with me. I told you this was going to be long. Olivia wanted a minute and 30. So this is a longer workout. It can be as long as you want it. You can stop after one round if you don't have a lot of time. It depends. If you have a long day and you want a killer workout that hits everything, this pretty much hits everything. We are going to get going. Not taking too long of a break. No cooling off. Cooling down, I should say. We want to stay in that zone, burning. Nice thing about doing the weights, we're doing the mountain climbers first, is by using the weights, you help build that muscle. You help keep your metabolism burning longer because the more muscle you have, the more fat you'll burn because your body, it takes more energy to move the muscle than to move fat. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, V hop, right? And left, push up, clean and press. Back down, mountain climbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, V hop. Pull those abs in. 
push up. My sandbag is rolling. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop, V hop, push up. Clean and press. One, two, three, four, five, six. V hop right, V hop left. Push up, clean and press. This is our third round. You should be feeling it. V hop, right, left, hop in. Mountain climber. One, two, three, four, five, six, V hop. Right, left. Sorry about that. Push up. I messed up. Clean and press. Woo! Okay. Two. Kneeling, sandbag. Remember, we're doing the squat out. Right, left, right. Grab that sandbag, flip it up. Squat low. And then back down. Left, right, left. Grab that sandbag or that weight. Flip it up. Squat out. Whew. Right, left, right. Grab that sandbag and squat out. Drop it down. Left, right, left. Grab that sandbag. Squat it out right. And drop it down. Right. Left, right, grab that sandbag, or that weight, whatever you have. Left, right, left, flip it up, squat out, back down. Squat out, back down, left, right, Left, flip it to the right, squat out right. Oh, you should feel that in your hips as you, as you squat wide. Squat out. You're getting biceps, shoulders, back. You're getting everything with those quads. Three, alternate side lunge. Hold. And a clean and a press. Side lunge out. Hold it up. Clean and press. Take breaks when you need to. Side lunge, clean it up, squat and press. Side lunge, squat and press. Oh. Oh, three, no, four, front lunge. Okay, this is the one I missed. Okay, front lunge, press it up over that shoulder. One, two, three, and step your back. Front lunge. 
Press it up and over, hold it. One, two, three. Step it back, front lunge. Press it up and over and hold. One, two, three, and step it back. Front lunge, up and over, hold. One, two, three, step back. Front lunge right, up and over, hold it here. One, two, three, step it back. Lunge left, up and over, hold on the left side. One, two, three, and back. Ooh, up and up and over. One, two, three. Engage the core and the shoulders. When you hold it here, press it up and over. Ooh. One, two, three, and back. Right leg. Up and over. Oh, engage that core. One, two, three. Can you feel it in the shoulders? Up and over, oh, hold it, one, two, three, and lunge back, right leg, oh, up and over, one, two, three, lunge back, left leg, oh God, I can feel them. Okay, we're gonna squat with an upright row. Gonna do a clean to press, and then you're gonna hold, press over, keep it overhead, and you're gonna do a reverse lunge. All righty, upright row. Clean, press and hold it over, and a reverse lunge. Now to the left, squat, upright row. Clean and press, hold it, and a left, reverse lunge. Right, upright row. Clean it and press it. How are your shoulders feeling? They should be getting tired. <sighs> Hold it and a left reverse lunge. <sighs> right side, a great row. <sighs> Press it overhead and hold. Right reverse lunge. <sighs> Clean and press. Hold it overhead. Clean and press. Hold it overhead. Right reverse lunge. Left. Clean and press. Hold it over. Left reverse lunge. Engage the core as you step that leg back. Upright row. Clean and press. Hold it. Right reverse lunge. Oh. Oh. Okay. Two jump squats with a side leg lift. Two traveling push ups. You got this. If you want to add weight, you can add weight. You really want good form on this, though. So, and form is usually lacking when you do your push ups because your arms are tired. So, I'd rather you engage the core, not use any weight, concentrate on keeping the back flat, straight, holding that stomach in as you travel those push-ups. Which means you have to press out of the shoulders and the weight is distributed between all 10 fingers and the palm. Palms. Hop in. Hop up. Side leg left. Hop up. Side leg left. Hold it a plank. Push up. Hop up. Side leg left. Pop up, side leg lift, plank, press out of those shoulders, engage the core. Pop up, side leg lift, pop up, side leg lift, engage the core. Wow, okay, weighted roll ups. I'll do 
I'll do it from this side first. Right side. We're gonna lower that weight to the right. Roll up, down, roll over, hip dip. Now, if you don't wanna do the hip dip and the toe touch, hold the side plank. Hold it there until we finish. Just hold it in a side plank with your hips lifted. Don't let them sag. Working that right oblique. Down and tap. Roll up. Down and tap. tap. Ooh, you feeling it? You should be. Uh, right obliques and the abdominals as you roll up. Uh, right obliques as you hip dip and toe tap. You have to engage that core. Again, pressing the weight into the all of your fingers, the five fingers and the palm so that you're not on your wrist. Okay, it's going to the left side now. Whew. Grab that weight, whatever you want. Whew. Going to the left side, left, roll it, hip dip, and toe tap. Roll it back. Whew. Grab that weight, roll it up. Oh. Left side, hip dip, tap. Oh. You always have one side that's weaker than the other. It's always good to do movements and hit them individually so that you can target them. You don't want to use momentum on this. We are not going fast on these. I want you to engage your core. Concentrate on that left oblique. toss. You know this one. Ball toss. Squat, toss it up. Squat low and catch it. Tap right, out in front. Tap left, out in front. Right, in front. Left, in front. Hop into a plank and a knee drive right and left. You ready? Toss it up and catch it. Right, and left. Work those obliques when you swing that ball to the side. Oh. Squat, toss it right and left. Oh. Work the glutes when you're holding that squat position. Oh. Work the core when you're holding that plank position. We're getting everything. Squat, toss it, right and left. Plank, right and left. Oh. Squat, toss, right and up, left and up. Right and left. Woo. Squat and toss, right and left, plank, one more, V-ups, hovering, V, 
feet wide, feet out, and then a regular V up, and then a roll up to a Russian twist. Up, V up, roll up, twist right, and left, and roll back down. V up. show you before I start it and your back is on the ball and you're in a squat position you're gonna raise up and lift that butt up squeeze and lift drop it down to your heels and then engage the glutes and come back up if you were on the floor you would be literally laying down and your feet in and you would raise up and you would come back down. Up, try not to touch the ground, just hover up. You want your feet to be a little bit closer. Lift up and down. Lift up and down, okay? You, can, you just get a fuller range of motion if you use the ball. It's entirely up to you. We're doing 25 reps of this and then we're gonna do a crunch on top of the stability ball. So I'm gonna grab the 12 pound dumbbell I'm gonna turn this on, and we are doing 25 of these. Oh, my mat is slippery. Okay, you ready? Down we go. Up, one, two. You can use as heavy a weight as you want. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you don't need any weight, really. 10, if you're engaging the glutes, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, put the weight in your heels, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and then you're gonna do a crunch. Up, two, three. If you're on the ground, it is a roll up. Five, six, seven, eight, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Back to the glutes. Come down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 25 more, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Onto the ball. Oh, crunch up. Two, three, four, five, six. Lower back is supported on the ball. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. We have one more glute and one more ab. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, another ab. Come down. Raise up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20. Five more. Five, four, three, two. Legs should be getting tired. One, crunch up. One, two, three, four. Lower back is on the ball. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Whew. Okay. Whew. We've got close grip press, close grip pullover with close grip press. I'm going to use the barbell on this one. And then after you've got that, there's 15 rounds of this. We're going to take the dumbbells and you're going to do a, you're going to lay on the ball and you're gonna do a, it's a shoulder move, I'll show you. So here's your close grip pullover with close grip press. Down and over, two and over, three. You will feel this in the core as well as in the chest, the shoulders, and the triceps. There's six. Seven, eight, 
we're doing 15, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Take breaks when you need to. Lower your weight. We've got three sets of those. Take your dumbbells. If you have dumbbells, they're going to start up and you're going to lower them down and back up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Okay, if you don't have a bar and you have dumbbells, you look like this. Close grip pullover with a close grip press. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe all you have is a ball. Seven. Eight. Drop those dumbbells. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Whew. All right. Okay. We've got hip raise on the stability ball and then a hyperextension. So, 20 of each of these. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, 
eight. We're doing 15 of these. Nine. 10. Reach past the toes. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. Keep the feet like this. One. Two. Three. Four. Fourteen. Fifteen. Put that weight down. Competition or butterfly sit ups. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have one more round. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. By reaching forward, you should feel that fifteen in the upper part. You'll feel it in the entire abdominal, but as you reach forward, you'll feel that in right up around the sternum where the rectus abdominis ties in to the rib cage. There's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. Oh, that should be 20, 20 minutes, 20, 20 minutes and 11 seconds. That was your 20 minute bonus. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You don't have to do all three rounds. I wanted to. Um, I have time on Saturday, so I like to do a longer workout. I have other uh, subscribers that like the longer workout. The nice thing about it is, is you don't have to make it this long. You can do it for the amount of time that you have. If you only have time for two rounds, do two rounds and uh, increase your weight, uh, push yourself, make it a little bit harder by adding a little more weight and don't hit the third round if you don't have time, if you're pressed for time. That's the nice thing. I don't wanna do one round and then tell you, if you wanna do three, go back and hit play again. I wanna take you through it. I want to push you and uh, make you get a little bit stronger. So uh, whatever you have time for, it's nicer to have the longer one and you can shorten it if you want to. And it's nice to have the long one so that if you wanna go through it with me, you can go through it with me. Let's be crazy together. Lay down. Let's stretch. My shoulders hurt. 
I shouldn't say hurt, they're just, they're tired. So, raise the arms over the head. Let's do a full body stretch. You should feel a nice pull through the stomach. You should feel a pull from the, from the rib cage all the way down to the pelvis. This is your rectus abdominis. This is the main abdominal muscle. This is the one we refer to as the lower and the upper abdominals. They're really just one piece of muscle, but we refer to the sections, the segment of them, because certain exercises hit the lower abdominal. It focuses more on the lower abdominals, and certain ones focus more on the upper abdominals, but it is one entire muscle. It's just where it's focusing, so it ties in. Pull that right leg in. Pull that knee into the chest and stretch out that quadricep from all those squats. And pull that left knee in, stretch out that quad. Hold them in here. We're gonna rock it from side to side. Massage that spine. Now, when you have your knees pulled in, engage your core. Concentrate on holding that stomach in. You wanna train it to stay in, okay? Don't just go and let it hang out. You wanna train it to stay in. Hold it here. You're gonna take that right arm around that right leg, put that elbow in the crook of the knee, and take that left arm and put it in the crook of the left knee. You're gonna pull down, this is happy baby pose, so you're gonna press those elbows down to those knees, press those knees down towards the floor, and you feel a nice stretch in the inner thigh and in the quads. You also, by pushing down with those legs, you feel a nice stretch in the shoulders. It gives you a nice pull. It's rounding them in a little bit, so we are gonna open them up as well. So don't worry about that. Okay, now you're gonna release that left leg and you're gonna keep that right leg up here. Now, you're gonna keep the right knee bent. You're gonna drop it over the left leg. If you wanna make it a little more advanced, you can loop it around in, this is eagle pose is what it's called and you can lower that right leg down towards the floor and you'll feel a nice stretch in the hip. You don't have to do that. You can, you can still feel the stretch just by having the knee drop over. I'm just giving you advanced if you wanna make it a little bit harder. If you have the flexibility and you can take that toe and put it in and hold it in your hand and stretch that leg straight out without rolling your shoulder off the floor, you can do that. I can't, I don't have that kind of flexibility. My legs don't bend like that. Uh, you can use a towel if you want to. This stretches out. You'll feel that in the oblique as well as in the hip and in the outer thigh. You'll get that nice stretch here in the glute, right here. We worked it hard. Okay, bring it back up. Take that left or that right hand, grab a hold of that left foot, and you're gonna pull it out to the side. Now, it's okay if you don't, if you can't reach the foot, grab the shin, grab the thigh, grab behind the knee, and just pull it out, straight leg. Flex the foot, this is flexed, this is pointed. Flex the foot and feel that nice stretch through the inner thigh and up through the hamstring. We're gonna fold that right leg into a figure four. You're gonna drop that knee down to the floor. You're gonna feel a nice stretch right here in the hip flexor and in the inner thigh. Breathe, make sure you breathe. Cleansing breaths. Inhale, exhale, and push all of that pain and that tightness out of the body. Feel it leave as you exhale. It's very important to stretch after you're all done. You tighten all those muscles, take the time to loosen them back up. They'll carry you through the day and through your life. You won't, you won't start to get pains in the joints. You won't start to get pains in your back. You gotta show those muscles a little love. You really worked them and they worked hard and they held up for you. Now you've gotta show them. You gotta release them and stretch them. Okay, grab that right leg or roll it up. You're gonna cross that right leg over the left. Pull in on that right knee. You should feel that right here. Hip and glute. Feels good. You're gonna take that right hand and you're gonna put it behind you. Now, pull that shoulder back, okay? Push it down. Don't hunch it up over the ears. You wanna feel like there's a metal rod running up and down your spine, all right? You're not sunken in. Hold the abs in tight. Press that chest out proud and then twist and look over that right shoulder. You should feel a nice stretch in the shoulders and right here in the chest, because we're opening it up. If you can take it a little bit further, release it, inhale, 
Exhale, twist it a little bit further back, but don't compromise the spine, the back of the hip, okay? Twist and look over that shoulder. Release it and bring it in. You're gonna keep that right leg right here on top. You're gonna fold that left leg in. You're gonna take the hands and you're gonna walk them out front. Drop the chest over the leg. Feel a nice stretch in the hips. Drop the hands down and the head down and you'll feel a nice stretch through the shoulders and the back and down the spine. Don't come so far forward that your hips lift off the floor. You want your hips to stay on the floor. So you wanna press back in the palms and force your hips down as you lower that weight down. You don't have to come all the way out and over your legs. You should be able to feel it. You want a flat back. You're not rounded. You want a flat back and you're gonna lower that chin, that chin down towards the knee. And release it. You're gonna uncross that left leg first, that's your bottom leg, and then the right leg. Sit here, staff pose, press your hands down to the floor, suck in your stomach back is flat. And you're gonna walk the hands back and you're gonna come up into reverse tabletop. You're gonna feel that stretch in the shoulders. It should feel oh so good. Stretch out those shoulders and that back and that chest. Hold in the abs, engage the core, and release it, lower it down. Come forward, hands to the feet. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, lower that chest down towards the thighs. You don't have to drop your chest down to the thighs. If you can, that's awesome. You wanna feel that stretch in the hamstrings and in the lower back. So you go to where you feel that stretch, not pain, it's not pain. We're not feeling pain, we're feeling a nice stretch in the backs of the legs. And release it. One more time. Reverse tabletop, stretch out those shoulders. and release it, holding it here. Come back down. We gotta do that left leg. So pull that left leg in, and you can take it over, and you wanna make sure that you keep your shoulder, your left shoulder on the floor, you're looking over the left shoulder. You can cross it into Eagle's Pose, feel it just a little bit more, don't raise that shoulder off the floor, or you can do straight leg, and pull it out. I can't do a straight leg with grabbing my toes, so I am gonna do eagle pose. You do what's most comfortable for you. You should feel it right here in the hip and the outer thigh and the glute. And release it, come back up. Take that left leg, grab hold of that toe, and take it out. My bar is in the way, let me move that. If you can't reach the toe, that's okay. Grab a hold of the calf, the behind the knee, wherever you feel it, and pull, feel that stretch in the inner thigh and the groin. Oh, and release it, pull that left leg in. Figure for it, drop that knee towards the floor. Again, hip flexor right here, and the groin. Release it, grab that left leg. Pull yourself up, press that left leg over the right. Sit up straight. Twist, look over that shoulder, press the shoulders down, lift the chest up, back is straight. Deep breath, inhale and release it. Exhale, see if you can twist just a little bit further. And release it. Keeping that left leg up, bend that right leg under. Walk those hands out. Now remember, push into the palms and push those hips back so that they stay on the floor. But lower that chest down towards the thighs. Feel that stretch, feel that in the hips. You wanna take a deep breath, inhale. As you exhale, you wanna feel all that tightness, big cleansing breath. Press that tightness out of the body. You should feel it release. 
Deep breath, inhale and raise up. Exhale, lower down. Press back so you feel that stretch in the hips. And release it. We're gonna uncross those legs and we're gonna bring them behind. You're gonna come into a cobra pose. We're almost done. Okay, so your hands are at your chest and you're gonna roll up. You're gonna look over that right shoulder and feel that in the, in the right, running down the spine. It would be the right spina recta, that side. You're gonna feel that stretch. Back down. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Look over that left side. One more time. Down. Roll up. Exhale and look over the right. Down. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale and look over the left. Look towards the back. See if you can see that left foot over your shoulder. And release it. Press up onto all fours. You're gonna take those feet back and press into downward facing dog. Stretch out those shoulders. You're gonna take that right arm, you're gonna cross it behind, over to the left ankle. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in that left arm as well as in the oblique on the right side. Deep breath, inhale and exhale. Cross that left arm over to the right calf. And walk those hands back out, downward facing dog. Now, I want you to come up onto the toes and bend the knees. You're gonna take a couple walks Come up onto the fingertips, and you're gonna walk into the hands. Bend in the knees, slight bend in the knees. Your, th your chest is gonna to go to your thighs. You feel that stretch in the hamstring. We're gonna deep breath, inhale, and you're gonna to come to a flat back. Exhale, you're gonna bend those legs. Sorry about that, one more time. Inhale, exhale, flat back. Inhale down. Bend those legs, tuck, and roll the chest up one vertebrae at a time. Deep breath overhead. Raise the arms up over, stretch out the shoulders. Exhale and down the mountain pose. That was your workout for the day. Hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, I will have the full breakdown on mycrazyworkout.com and subscribe to my channel if you like it. Have a great weekend and I will see you next week.